Now, in order to control access to objects, we need to implement what we call controls. A control is any safeguard that is used to protect an object from a threat. It's anything that stands in between the subject and the object. Typically, our object controls can be organized into three groups. These are loose groups, and there can be some overlap, and there can be some types of controls that may fit into multiple categories. But generally, we refer to them as physical access controls, administrative access controls, and logical access controls. So let's look at each one individually. Physical access controls are the controls that are going to limit physical access to the hardware. Basically, they're going to stop you from being able to touch actual hardware. The first place to start is perimeter security. Perimeter security keeps anyone from approaching the location where you're storing hardware or where any object that you want to control is going to be located. A good example would be a fence. We see fences around many types of organizations. The height and the size of the fence, the type of fence, depends on the strength of the security that you really want. Walls, another good way to stop people from approaching a physical area where an object you wish to control resides.